Sunrise Sport. And time to talk sport now with seven AFL commentator Luke Darcy and our very own sports nut Simon Reid. Good morning to you both now. Simon, let's start with Australian cricketer Sean Tate. He had his name dragged into the, the spot-fixing scandal in India. They mm. reckon that they'd found a whole heap of cash in his hotel oh, room. Um, then they denied it, the police saying no such thing. He'd be furious, and quite rightly. Absolutely, Koshi. The big quick is watching television at home with his Indian fiancée, so he lives in India these days, playing for the Rajasthan Royals, which is captained by Rahul Dravid. There's other Aussies, Shane Watson, Brad Hogg. Brad Hodge plays for them as well, and James Faulkner. So he's watching the news, and his name pops up as... as uh, being associated with having found a big bag of money in his change room. Can you imagine your own reaction? The police commissioner has later come out and said, no, it wasn't Sean Tate, but certainly uh, Shanti yeah. Srisanth is one of the three bowlers who's... And Shanti has had a, uh, a chequered history somewhat. Uh, so there are these three... That's Shanti right there. There are these three bowlers now who are under the gun. Uh, bookmakers involved in Mumbai and Delhi. Why aren't we surprised about this, Koshi? Yeah. But for Sean Tate, uh, he's saying that there may well be legal action that Good. he'll take he's against them. He's got to do that to clear Absolutely. his Absolutely, yep. Uh, Luke, let's uh, talk footy. Ethnic stars Majak Dor and Nick Natanui go head-to-head -head in tonight's clash between West Coast and the Roos. How do you reckon... Uh, what's your pick? How do you reckon they're going to go? Oh, it's fantastic, Kosh, isn't it? What a great uh, example of our game to have a Fijian-born and a Sudanese-born player who are that athletic going head-to-head -head, uh, in the game tonight. And they'll be absolutely fantastic. They're both worth watching alone. West Coast at home, even though they're struggling, uh, probably the, uh, the favourite in my mind. And that Nui back maybe the difference. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, there's been a massive increase in players testing positive to illicit drugs. There were 26 last season compared with just six the year before. Luke, what do you reckon? Any action taken? And I've got to say, 26 over a whole year. Remember, these young blokes are a reflection of our wider society. I didn't think that was too bad. Yeah, I'm with you, Kosh. I don't think it's as alarming as it initially sounds. They did have a 2,000 test, so it's a little over 1% that are positive. Only four of those uh, tested positive for a second time. No one for a third time. And that says to me that the policy works, that players make a mistake, they get counselled, they get uh, briefed by their doctors, and then very few of them are making a second mistake. And you've got to remember, the players sign up to this over and above the wider code for the reason they can get counselled. And uh, I think it's actually a positive story rather than a negative one. Yeah. Uh, Simon, David Beckham retiring from professional footy. What sort of impact has he made on the game? I think possibly bigger than any other footballer. 20 years he's been playing this sport. Manchester United, he started back in 1993, Koshi. This is extraordinary, especially when you compare it to, say, AFL or NRL. Manchester United, Real Madrid, AC Milan, LA Galaxy as well, and he's currently playing with Paris Saint-Germain. Um, he's got a couple more games to go. But this is a remarkable footballer. You know, joke about him as we have over the years about his voice and everything else. He's the one laughing, let me tell you. The guy's worth something like $300 million. Um, he could do things with a football that no other player could. So it, yep. it is a, a, a big day in sport internationally in this great code. Look, do you reckon he could have played AFL? <laughs> Oh, you'd love to have seen it, wouldn't you? He's just a, an absolute superstar. And uh, as you said, not many people could bend a footy like that man did. And you'd like to have his bank balance as well, Koshy. Yeah, exactly right. All right, Luke, good calling over the weekend, mate.